Hello and this is Theme Park Squid and welcome back to the fight show. Number two of the fight show is still here in the temporary filming space. So um, yeah, but soon we will be back filming in the usual position. This week we have news, poll time, merchandise, future of the parks, all your favourite parts. So let's get into news of the scares. This week in news of the scares. Just a bit of channel news, we will be back in the hub next week as you'll see the new redecoration of the hub. We've been down here for the last few weeks, so at least the fight show will go into the hub, not be stuck down here in the green room. Uh, so we will be back in the hub, and um, yeah, major news this week. Fort Park Fight Nights began last Friday on Friday the 29th of September. It went down very well, it looks amazing, there's roaming walkers around the park as the dead invade the island. I've watched the advert on the Fort Park Facebook page, it's like, don't open dead inside gate at the entrance and there's like zombies trying to get through. So I can't wait to try out all the mazes at Fort Park this year. Major news this week about Disney. Um, with Disney, Grand Avenue has opened at Hollywood Studios, that new Streets of America overhaul, the bit which is stayed. Uh, with a baseline tap house, which is basically a drinks place. That is now open Grand Avenue, this new area from the bridge from the rest of the park into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And Muppets Courtyards has been renamed to Grand Park. Why build that next to Muppets Courtyard and you want the park to be more about the movies? Why can't you keep it as Muppet Courtyard or Muppet Avenue? Instead of calling it Grand Avenue, let's not rename Muppet Courtyard to something else. Let's rename it to Mupp Grand Park. So it's really weird. But the biggest news this week, Guardians of the Galaxy themed attraction coming to Epcot, a part of the Epcot overhaul in the old Universal Energy Pavilion. That is closed now. It will now be a roller coaster. Yes, it's going to be a roller coaster. Epcot's first roller coaster. I'm excited because I love Guardians of the Galaxy, second Guardians of the Galaxy attraction after Mission Breakout Disney's California Adventure, but it doesn't fit Epcot. How does a roller coaster fit travelling into the future, seeing the future, seeing past achievements, sh going around the world? They're really trying to put IPs into that park now, like with over the years in the Seas Pavilion, we've got Nemo and Friends. What's that got to do with the future? It used to be about just the future of the seas and all that. And then the Pixar Short Film Festival in Next to the Imagination Pavilion. What's that got to do with the future? That used to be Captain Neo and that was very about the future. And then in, what is it, the World Showcase of the Park, um, they have all doing all the stuff to Foes and Ever After. I was against that even happening to replace Maelstrom. It doesn't fit Norway at all. The Free Calibrero definitely fits, they say, Grand Fiesta Tour in Mexico. I do like that ride. Little hidden gem when I was there at Epcot. I never knew it was there, and I just found it uh, in there. And then Ratatouille coming to France. How does that fit? Well, I think it does fit in a way to the park, but not. It's not a cultural like the Three Caballeros. Most of the ride was going through Mexico, not part of a story like a story based on the film. Like Frozen Ever After, that's mainly based on the film. Also news this week, Alton Towers Scarefest does begin this weekend, Saturday it does begin, so it's the second event. And then with Chessington and Legoland, so Harlow Wing and Brickle Tree, and the Haunted Castle at Warwick Castle, they will start, not this weekend, two weeks on Saturday those events start, and I'll be seeing all those events, not Haunted Castle, I'm not going to Warwick Castle for Halloween. I would love to, it looks fantastic, but I'm definitely not going, I'm doing the rest morning. Of the parks. More channel news this week. This uh, weekend on Saturday, I am at Fort Park Fight Nights to try all the mazes and have a great time. Let's get into merchandise. This week, merchandise has changed to merchandise. Thank you because someone in the comments down below, Jack Edwards, thank you for commenting this new suggestion for what? Because I couldn't think of anything to be called for merchandise. He said, Merchant die. Thank you, Jack Edwards, for having that idea, and we will be using it in the fight show for the rest of the season until the fight show does end in November. So this week in Merchant Die, we have got the Devil Bound Ghost Train Machine. This is two reasons: it's Halloween, it's a Halloween-based attraction, 
and on McFall Park this Saturday. So I thought, well, let's show it. I do like this resin, one of my favourites. I do like I do like the carriage. They have got the levitating one for 50 quid for a little magnetic train. It's not that good, is it? And um, yeah, I uh, really do like this resin, one of my favourites. And let's get into Guess the Maze. This week in Guess the Maze, I will give you last week's Guess the Maze, which was Turn of the Towers, What Lies Within. Maze of Alton Towers, which has been there for the events all through its history and will now be returning for another year. Like Saw Alive, but it's a lot longer, about two years extra than Saw Alive. I think it's two or three. Uh, so this week's Guess the Maze, it is one of the Walking Dead mazes. So don't start commenting Saw Alive, platform 15, big top in the comments. It is the outside Walking Dead attraction. So if you know what that Walking Dead scare maze is, Put it down in the comments down below and you'll get a shout out in next week's shout out section of the show. Let's get into Future of the Screams. This week in Future of the Screams. Um, yeah, so The Walking Dead Mains, I hope they have such an in-depth storyline. I mean, No Living Nightmare will be a free flow maze where you get to choose your own route, which I hope does not ruin it. I hope it's not got not a story whatsoever, and you're just walking through random scenes, which I hate those mazes. That's what, like, some mazes are. It's you're walking through random scenes, not with a story building it together, like Curse of the Lost Tomb at Chesington. It has such an in-depth story, building the maze together. So that's, and as well as Mystery Hoax folks saw and Vampire the Haunting in the Hollows back in Chesington's history, they had such a good story. I was immersed in the adventure in those mazes, but some of them, these free fun ones, just you choosing a route around random horror scenes, which not a story at all, is it? it's just you walking through random horror scenes, isn't it? So I hope they have an in-depth story. Let's get into poll time. This week in poll time, we will reveal the results. I was going to do something like the X Factor then, but I don't think I can do that. So, first in last place, third place with zero votes was let us see the Walking Dead Sanctum. I'm a bit sad about that because that's the maze I'm looking forward to the most at Fort Park. I don't know why that's been voted as the bottom maze. Next, in second place with one vote, was letter A, the final cut cinema. So thank you to Levota who did vote that and uh, making that beat the Sanctum. And now, at number one, you probably know what it is. It is The Walking Dead Living Nightmare, letter B, and that had two votes, so thank you to all the people who voted for that one. That one is the top, and uh, yes, last week's theme was What Walking Dead Scare Mate at Fort Park Fight Nights Are You Most Looking Forward To? This week, we do have one more letter. This week's What's Your Favourite Chesington Coaster? A, if you like the Scorpion Express. B, if you like the Rattlesnake. C, if you like the Vampire. And D, if you like Dragon's Fury. So, whatever one is your choice, so it could win the vote next week, put the letter, and if you want to, if you don't want to put the letter, you can put the title of the maze as well. But if you do put the title of the maze, please put the letter, and please put it in caps lock, so it doesn't look like part of the sentence. So, uh, yeah, that's it from Poll Time this week. Let's get into shout outs. This week in shout outs, the Guest the Ride shout outs. You've got the Guest the Ride, also I'll say Guest the Maze, um, which was Terror of the Towers, obviously. It was Jack Edwards. Thank you for guessing the ride correct. Next, we have the poll voters. The poll voters are Jack George. Thank you for entering the poll. Elemental Gaming, thank you for entering the poll. And Jack Edwards, thank you for entering the poll. And we have a new subscriber this week who is Hen8JCB. Thank you for subscribing. Next we have our questions. Jack Edwards asks, if you had to put a year round Halloween themed area, the Alton Towers, what would you call it? And what rides would you put in and call them? And the theme as well. So I think... Yeah, you know, Halloween of, uh, area, what would I call it? I would call it something like Scare or something simple like Fight Land or Fight Woods or Fight Forest, but they've already done that. I think like 
Fright Town, that sounds good. Like Scream Street, that sounds good as well. So Scream Street I'm going to go for. And what rides? Obviously, I'm going to have a year-round Halloween attraction in there. Uh, year-round scare maze in there. May have an intense thrill flat ride. Maybe a family boat ride. Maybe if we can convert Cloud Cuckoo Land into that, I reckon. Because that's a street building. We can convert Cloud Cuckoo Land to that. And the theme, a street, oh, a street full of monsters in every building, like a wacky, not a very intense scare place. That means the scare place could be House of Monsters. So they're like a wacky scare land with monsters everywhere, family orientated, and I think that would be good. Reefing trial in the chocolate factory, have a new show, turning toaster as a reefing, driving school as a reefing, carousel and frog hopper go, we could have a, a, another flat, two flat rides there. So that's what, um, I would do. Next question is, Carl Livermore asks, what is your favourite theme park in the UK? This is very hard. My favourite all-round theme park is Fort Park Resort. Not a lot of walking, that's why I like it. The car park is right near the entrance, and it's a very nice car park. And, um, yeah, but my favourite theme one's actually Chessington. But the only thing which puts Chessington down is the issue with the car parks. I feel like I'm going on safari. When I enter those car parks, so they're the two, but Fort Park is my best because I feel like I'm entering the safari and I'm going to look at some rhinos in the car park and all the names and everything. So, um, yeah, Fort Park is my favourite. Last question this week is India's Page asks, What's your favourite YouTube channel? There are two Theme Park Worldwide and Coast the Crazy. They are my two favourite YouTube channels. I do like the content they provide over there. And this one, we do have. A special shout out to the person who, with merchandise, suggested the name of merchandise, and that's to Jack, Jack Edwards. Thank you for giving me that title. It's so creative, and we'll be using that for the rest of the Halloween season. And we also had a comment this week from India's page. That's it for this week's episode of the show. I'll see you at Fort Park Fright Night in the vlog, which will probably come on on Sunday. And, um, yeah... Like, subscribe, comment any nice feedback for the channel, any titles or any suggestions for the channel over winter. I am opening up for suggestions of video ideas over winter now. Guess the ride, put your poll results, your poll vote, and all once after the show, um, after the show starts getting filmed on Monday night next week, we'll be back in the hub. Uh, sorry it's a Tuesday night, it's been a mess because... Yes, yeah, pubs getting redecorated and everything. So, um, yeah, so put your vote into the poll. Guess the like, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!